welcome to my channel so i'm back with another story time and yes this is a story time so this story is going to be about trusting your gut okay so when you have a bad vibe about someone and you've seen like they've given you those red flags and then you tell yourself, well, maybe they have a bad day. Maybe, I don't know, it's me. Maybe I should give them a chance. But then they turn on you. Okay? And you find out that they really, really don't care about you. Always trust that gut. And that's what we're going to talk about today, okay? But before... I start my video. I am going to be drinking throughout my video. And girl, I am going to be drinking the same thing I was drinking in my last video, okay? It is a Smirnoff um, mango chili. Um, I do have my glass right here. I put some tajin. That's all I added to it. But yeah, girl, if you want to drink with me or anything you want, go get it and let's get started. Salud. You ready? Because I am ready. Okay, I've been wanting to tell this story for the longest, longest time. So here we go. So this story takes place when I was working at Marshalls. And I'm going to take you all the way back to the first time I started working at Marshalls because I did talk about this girl. I think I never named her Lilith, if I'm not mistaken. But it is that girl that stole and everybody loved. And she was a key carrier. She was a ladies coordinator when I started there. It's esa, okay? That girl. That's the girl I'm talking about. We all know that I was trained by her, okay? She trained me first, but then the next day that I went back to working at Marshall's, there was this other girl, and she, girl, the first time I met her, she kind of gave me, like, very, I don't give a f about you vibes like very standoffish to me she was more like a senora she gives off that vibe and so anyways girl this girl ends up training me and we're gonna name her karen because she is the main uh character in this story okay so we're gonna name her karen karen ends up training me and girl let me tell you, cuando te digo que estaba mensa and I didn't know anything about retail, I am telling you that I was mensa and I didn't know anything about retail, okay? Like, you had to train me like a baby because I had no clue what I was doing. Like, yes, I get it. I kind of have to pick up, but I don't understand, like, where everything goes, like, your procedures like what do you guys do like give me all the deeds train me like you're supposed to be training me you know but no girl karen just tells me okay let me do this side you do this side just pick it up clean it up make it look nice yeah okay girl give me more detail okay but anyways i ended up doing that she ended up leaving because I think I was closing and she was working in the morning. So she left me by myself. I had to take care of the ladies department that night by myself. Girl, it was super busy. I remember, I don't know what I was doing. I was struggling. People had to help me. Like it was a rough, rough, rough day. And or night, I should say, rough night. And the next day, I end up getting in trouble because Karen came in to open the next day and said that I didn't clean up properly and I left so many clothes out. And I was so confused because I was like, what do you mean? Like, I cleaned, I did my best. And yeah, girl, she literally threw me under the bus and, to and told my managers that I wasn't doing a good job 
and all these things right but the reason why i wasn't doing a good job was because i wasn't trained properly so when my manager approached me and told me hey like karen is telling me that you're not doing a good job and that you left a mess last night and that she had to pick it up and i told her i wasn't trained correctly i don't know what she's talking about because in my eyes i cleaned and i did the best i could like i don't understand what's going on girl that manager had to teach me all over again and kind of give me a rundown on what I'm supposed to do. But yeah, like I told her, I was like, I wasn't trained properly. Karen gets mad at me, but she didn't train me like she's supposed to. Like I'm new at this. I don't know what I'm doing. And when I told her that, obviously the manager went to Karen and told Karen what happened. And girl, after that, I feel like, Karen just didn't like me didn't like me at all because of what happened there and I got that vibe I I was like no like she doesn't like me before I continue I'm gonna give you some few examples of what she did okay so first example I remember one Sunday and if you ever been to a Marshall's on a Sunday it is packed up the booty okay like it is packed People don't give an F. They put everything everywhere. They make a mess. Who had to pick it up? This girl, okay? So one Sunday, I had to pick everything up. I was trying my best to catch up with go bags and with cleaning everything and having everything prepared for the next person. I was focusing mostly on my go bags when Karen came in for her shit. And when she came in, she looks at me and she tells me, what have you done all day? And I look at her and I was like, excuse you? And she tells me, it's literally a mess. Look, look, you didn't do anything. You didn't pick up, que sees this. She started yelling at me, girl. And then I told her, I was like, it's a Sunday. It is super busy. I did all the go backs for you. I was like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to stay and clean up for you? And she tells me, yeah, you're going to stay here and pick up until it looks nice. You can leave. So girl, o sea, yo de mensa me quedé y empecé because she, came, she was my seniority. Like she kind of was, she was kind of in charge of me. So I had to listen to her and did what she asked and I went and I started to like pick everything up and clean up for her when a manager came in and told me hey you have to go and I was like yeah but like she told me to clean up she's like don't worry about it like we're gonna do this we got this right that was one time and there was another time and where one day I think I put like a sign incorrectly and so she got mad at me. She started yelling at me and telling me that I am dumb and that I don't know how to do things and that I have to be more careful. And I understand that part. I do have to be more careful when you signing. But girl, you don't have to be yelling at me, okay? Like, please just talk to me like a regular person and I will understand. Don't be screaming at me, okay? She was screaming and yelling at me. To the point, because I remember I went to the restrooms and I started bawling my eyes out because I just couldn't handle her always being in my booty and always telling me like I am doing something wrong. I, I never got something right. It was always, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong. And I just felt so useless and like like um why why am i doing what am i doing here if i don't know how to do my job correctly like it was to that point that i doubt myself you know and i would cry about it and girl like i knew like she just doesn't like me like there's something about me que no le caigo bien you know anyways covid hit you all know what happened when covid hit we had to be in our house we couldn't get out the jobs my job closed so marshall's closed tj maxx closed home goods most of the stores that were necessary closed and it was about i don't know like a month later 
we went back to work and girl i don't know if you ever worked at marshall's but they do markdowns they do these things called markdowns and they, they do this like all the stores i believe but especially in marshall's there's items that you have to go through every two weeks because they go down and the reason they go down is so people could buy them and then sell them and then just get new merchandise right well it kind of backed up like these no one was doing these uh, markdowns because no one was working so they kind of caught up to them and we had to go through all of the store before we opened the store we had to go through all of the store and do the markdowns for all of the store everybody that worked there to prepare ourselves before people came back to shop so that's what we we're doing okay it was just us employees doing all of this work so then people could come back well i had to work with karen while we were doing these okay and she kind of changed she wasn't mean she was talking to me like a regular person she was asking me questions but now that i go back and think about it she was kind of because at first i was like oh like she's being nice she's trying to tolerate me <laughs> but now that i think about it but she would throw like little jabs at me and i didn't really notice i kind of just like dismiss it and i was like whatever i would say something else and move on you know but now that i think about it like she was kind of low-key being mean to me but like nice to me at the same time right so it confused me i was like what the heck is going on she started complimenting me and this is when we opened the store already okay like we went back everything was going back not completely normal because you know what happened in covid but we were kind of going back into routine she started being nice to me she started complimenting my perfume she started talking to me a little more um lilith i believe i named her she got fired because of what happened right you have you seen that story she stole from like the company and like customers and stuff well girl she got fired okay when she got fired karen came up to me and asked me hey have the manager approach you and asked you if they if you want to be a ladies coordinator and i told her no because at that time they didn't ask me okay so i told her no and she's like oh okay and that's it right girl i fell for it okay i fell for it. i thought she was truly opening up to me and actually being my friend and one day some things happened we could skip through those and the manager went up to me and told me hey we need a new ladies coordinator i think you'll be great for the position can you please think about it and let me know if you want to apply for this position i tell him okay i'm gonna think about it yeah weeks later i go to karen thinking that we're friends we're besties we're getting along i tell her this i tell her what happened i tell her that they told me that they want me as a ladies coordinator biggest mistake ever after that when i told her that i see her going straight to the manager and just like something's going on because she's pointing she's going like this she's like giving her little attitude she's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she's going girl she's going off on him you could tell you could tell from afar and i kind of mind my own business and i kind of go inside like the break room and then i leave right the next day karen tells us hey I put in my transfer, I am moving. And I'll go like, what? You put in your transfer? Like, you've been working in this company for like 50 years, girl. What do you mean that you put a transfer? Like, what? And this was so weird to me. I was like, what's going on? And so she tells us that she's going to um, another store she put in a transfer, a transfer for that, and she's leaving. Well, girl, she leaves. I am happy because I'm like, oh my gosh, 
I got rid of her, like, I am done with her, you know, like, at least I feel a little bit better, you know, I'm gonna have a new position, like, I was so, so happy and so relieved that this happened. You know, the story does not end here, because... <sighs> It gets a little worse, okay? Let me have a little drink before I continue, all right? When you accept the position of being a ladies coordinator, they have to interview you. They don't just hand it out to you and like, here, it's yours. No, you have to be interviewed and other people have to have that chance to be a ladies coordinator as well. So it's a little lengthy process. Well, girl, I end up getting interviewed for this position and I start talking to my manager. We start talking, we, you know, like he asked me about, you know, my skills, my development, everything, you know, like about me. Then he proceeds by telling me, I want you in this position. I am going to put you in this position, but... There's a few things that you need to know before you accept this position. You have to understand that a ladies coordinator position, you are higher than a regular employee. So you cannot be friends with them and be buddy buddy and tell them stuff that goes on with us like in meetings. And I look at him. And I'm like, why is he telling me this, right? He proceeds by telling me, have you ever had a problem with Karen? Okay. He says her name with Karen, specifically Karen. Okay. And tells me, have you ever had a problem with Karen? And I look at him and I was like, you know what? Yes. Like she was very tough on me. She would always like change my things. Like she was always in my booty. Like I just couldn't handle her anymore. Like she was just too much. She was micromanaging me everything I do. So I, you know, I kind of tell him and he tells me, yeah, we have issues with her. It's not just you, but other employees have told me that she's been very hard on them and that she also is not very good with customers and I've noticed that you are and like he started talking about our differences then he tells me she told me that you told her that we wanted you as a ladies coordinator he tells me you cannot do that anymore you cannot be telling people other employees about what's going on with us, the managers. Um, he tells me if I'm going to give you this position, I need you to be very hush, hush. And girl, my heart drops because I thought that Karen changed. I thought that I could trust her. I thought that, yeah, we probably, probably at the beginning she didn't like me, but I started to get to know her and I thought I could trust her and tell her this because she was asking me, but I can't. She told everything to the managers. That's why she transferred. Because of me. Because the managers gave me the lady's position over her, okay? I later found out that that conversation that they were having with the manager and she was yelling at the manager was because of me because i told her that they wanted me as a ladies coordinator because i trusted her and told her what she asked me so she got mad they didn't pick her she ended up getting a transfer and she left. Now the manager is telling me that I have to be careful of what I say with other people because because they're going to find out, right? Like that's, he tells me all of this and I'm like, what? What happened, right? Girl, to make the story, the long story short, I ended up getting this position. She ended up moving and things didn't go so well, all right? I have talked about this a little bit. 
I want to talk about this in another story time about these managers. Terrible things happen, okay? But of course, the story doesn't end there. Going like fast forward a couple years, I'm working at my new job and I'm there, you know, doing my thing. All of a sudden, I turn around and I see Karen. She's with her daughter and she's buying some clothes and they're shopping and she looks at me she kind of hesitates and she goes up to me and starts to talk to me she started to talk to me like if we were buddy buddies and friends and best friends since um elementary and she started talking to me about like how terrible uh, marshall's uh, was and that she's so happy she left and I told her, yeah, I got you, like, it wasn't so great for me. And she kind of told me, like, she she kind of wanted more information. Girl, I shut it down, okay? I was like, what are you doing? Like, I, I was like, oh, okay. And I left, okay? I completely just left her mid-sentence. And I was like, I am done here. I am done listening to you. Like, if we're best friends, you do this all the time you did this to me already i'm not gonna fall for it again you me thinking that you're all buddy buddy and then behind my back you switch it up and you do something i was like no 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 no. so i ended up just leaving and just completely ignoring her the whole time i would like move like she would go like this and i would go like this like i was just ignoring her okay because of what happened so like i didn't want to fall into that same trap again and i don't know she doing something else okay so i ended up kind of ignoring her she left i haven't seen her since but yeah girl this is the end of the story just very quickly please like if you have red flags if you know this person isn't good don't trust them don't trust them don't be like oh what if no even if they're being nice to you they could quickly turn around and stab you in the back. Like, no, 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 no. Like, please be careful. Please be careful who you trust. Please, you know, like, follow that gut instinct and just try your best to weave out the bad people and just, you know, bring in people that love you and support you and are not gonna, like, do things behind your back and... You know, no, you don't need that in your life. Just trust your gut. That is the lesson for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be making more story times, more Dollar Tree uh, videos, more, um, more book reviews. So please stay. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <music>